All right, so we've got our volunteer firefighters here um, kind of opening a window into their incredible world. And, and I think what really hit home for me was the fact that it's the V word, the volunteer. The fact that this isn't a paid job. This isn't something that they have been kind of instructed to do through a professional arc. These are gents and ladies giving up their time, risking their lives over and above everything else that they're doing. So that is amazing to me. So thank you so much, boys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Are you, are you jumping yeah, on board, dude? I'm with the team now, man. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> He's I'm earned his stripes. <laughs> um, and I think a, a great opportunity to kind of work maybe one of the drills, because this is all great to think about it in theory, yeah. but I would imagine when you arrive and you see those flames up to 60 metres high when trees are burning, as you guys pointed out, it's mind-blowing to me. You've got to kick into gear. You've got to have the processes down, I would imagine, and you've just got to click into action. So we're going to take a look at what that looks like. So maybe, Jeremy, you want to yeah. explain how you kind of approach that first contact or what goes through your mind and how does this all kick in together? Yeah, so we train very hard. Um, all of our firefighters train every year. They go through the same kind of basic training again. They requalify every year. Oh. And a lot of that is about just making sure that everything that you do is automatic. You need to have For a completely sure. seamless uh, approach to it. You need to know that the basics are in place because safety is critical and fires are a very dangerous place to be. It's the most dangerous you're place. Going, I up, going up, yeah, well, one of them. You're going up against a force of nature and sometimes all you have is the tool that you've got in your hands or a hose and a 500 liters on the back of your bucky. So uh, what we are going to show you is just two of those things. The one is the hand tools that we use out in the, in the mountains when we're far away from roads and far away from water. And then we're going to show you how we roll out hoses and uh, roll them up again. And hopefully we can get uh, some of your presenters to help us out with Ralph's that as well. Look, so he wants to earn his stripes, <laughs> like literally he wants to do we're gonna, it. We're the, the do's and don'ts. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, gentlemen, let's take it, it yeah. away. Yeah, show let's start that off with the, the hand tools done. then. And we're going to get Ryle up here again with the oh. Beater that he's already right. demonstrated so well. So let's you are the beater, beater, my friend. Yeah. So this was the one where you grab above your shoulder, right? Yes, but it's what's important here is that you're going to work as a team. Okay. So we're going to get Robin to show you how that works. Okay. Robin, step in front of you. Jump sure. in front. All right. So I'm going to count to three, and on three we're all going to swap down at the same time in uh, in sequence, and we work as a team. So they should all be quite closely cropped together. Okay. All right. So one, two. Smother, smother. One, two. Smother, so you smother, can imagine smother. you've got flames, you've one, got uh, bush burns in front of these guys, smother, and uh, one, they're working their two. way through the flame boss, smother, which is smother, burning, smother, uh, one, and two. using these to smother, knock smother, the smother. flames down, put them out, and then we'll have others coming up behind them with water or with the rakos and digging the ground out behind them. And you might have helicopters overhead, so you're keeping an eye on that as well, and they're <laughs> dropping on you with the uh, I was going to say, have, have any of you ever been, like, <coughs> oh, dumped by the water? They, they <laughs> aim for us. Oh, I suppose because you've got to be as close to that event horizon as possible. The helicopters help you, they cool it down, and then you've got to get in there with, with hand tools immediately, otherwise it's going to stand up again as soon as the, as soon as the chopper's moved on. What does your lower back feel like after this? I just think like... <laughs> Let's not talk like, about yeah. that. <laughs> That's proper. <laughs> they get like a, a free membership to a, a physio Some or bio or something. Yeah, but if there's spa. any physios... Yeah, I was going to say, but, uh, <laughs> and, and this really does beg the question, because I'm thinking about this massive network that has to be engaged, and now that it's being drawn upon times 10, mm. it's incredible. And you guys get funding only from private sources. There is no official funding tool. So please, anyone who is watching right now that wants to invest in their own safety, community safety, please reach out. These are only volunteers, and they require our support to keep us safe. OK, let's move on to another drill. Yeah, all right, let's get some hoses out. And while they're doing that, uh, VWS has been going for almost 25 years now, and we absolutely rely on the community support. Jeez, so thanks part. very much for pointing that out. Well, it's, it's our vehicles, our, all of the equipment that we're wearing now is funded entirely by the generosity of the community in Cape Town, and uh, we're really grateful for that. Right, this is a hose, um, and here we've got a branch, which is what we use to put on the end of the hose and make sure we've got a nice spray pattern. Robin is going to show Ryle how to roll out this hose, and then he's going to do one after that. OK. Cool. So ready to imagine bowling. Um, you want to try and get it out as straight as you can, and uh, you're going to hang on to the end while you do that so that you don't injure anybody with it. So just like a yeah, unroll. Just, just like you're down as low as you can okay. to the ground, okay. and you're going to give it a So you're going to shout us down, or? Yeah. Here you go. I feel like you should be reminded to hold like, on to the way end. Get out the way, like something. <laughs> 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 All right, it's a nice big lunge and step. Oh, oh look at that. great form! There we go. Uh, and into the covers! Hook up the branch onto the end of it and you're going to run to the That's, that's my bajur, right? That's you. That'll give it, push it in, you'll hear it click. There we go. 
And now we're engaged. Now you're engaged. Ready to go. Oh, I'm pointing at me, dude. The <laughs> 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 thing is a beast as well. It's like a proper nozzle. How, how do you hold it? What's the, the mm, What's the correct way to hold this, actually? Yeah. Right. It's going to be behind, behind you. you. And you're always yep. going to have somebody backing you up. Because yeah, so if you put this up. onto a fire truck, it's going to push quite a lot of force out oh, of it. Really? You can see it's people power, lifting yeah. up a little bit sometimes. So I need someone behind you. Are they in my position like this? Yep. And then we're both kind of just holding on for dear life. Yeah. Cheapers, OK. Interesting stuff. Um, am I going to get a chance to grab that? Yes. Yeah, go for it. Ooh, all right. okay, you can do Challenge it, man. You accepted. can do it. Uh, how, how do you know? Is it kind of an intuitive thing? When you're spraying on a particular mm. area, is there something you look out for in terms of, okay, I've dampened this enough so the beaters can get in there? Um, how do you yeah, know or gauge when? Or is it something that you just no, develop so an intuitive thing? Absolutely. You've got a lot of tools that you can work with, and uh, you make sure that you try and use the best one for each situation. But a lot of the time, we don't have water. A lot of the time, it's just you up there in the middle of the mountains, and you, you've go. got your hand tools and with you. And you just beat, baby. Let's go. see. Very oh, nice. look at that! Hey. Hey. Fourth the know. grab. Fourth <laughs> the grab. Great teachers out here, man. I gotta tell you, this was fun actually, but it's probably not that much fun in the real situation. No. I can imagine that. Whew, all right, yeah. I'm feeling like I'm well done, to the dude. You got the pump. You got that, that little t-shirt fits perfectly. I don't know. I think I think there is a calling, my friend. Yeah, I'm so feeling when like we, I'm when resonating. When you sign up to join us, Ryle, in April of this year, we run our training all the way through winter every year, and we make sure that all of our firefighters are trained throughout the season. Come fire season at the beginning of November. Brilliant. So anybody else that's listening right now that maybe yeah. wants to get involved as well, that's how they Absolutely. can do that. Absolutely. Head to our website vws.org.za. You can sign up there for our recruitment, which starts pretty soon, and the end of the season's coming up hopefully in three or four months, and then we'll start getting on your recruits trained. Brilliant. I like Zanzi. the way you said hopefully there, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, Mzanzi, we need you to get involved in being a part of this incredible team, being a part of volunteers that are doing the absolute most to protect communities, to protect the environment, and of course, just look great at the same time, I think. You all look like absolute stallions, and I want to thank you for putting the effort into your vessels to allow you to do the work you're doing. I've been really, really inspired by this, and I think I might even venture into trying to learn a bit more because, freaking hell, this was just awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks to you for having us, and yeah. just a big thanks yeah. also to all of the other agencies and firefighting organizations out there, not necessarily uh, joining us today, but working extremely Hard. There are several wildfires still active in the Western Cape, and uh, we, we're thinking of all of our brothers and sisters out there on the fire lines at the moment. And yeah. because we, we are thinking along those same lines as well, I'm going to reiterate while Raul finishes the job, dude. Yeah, I'm sure you're going to roll these up now afterwards. Um, but it? please, if you can help in any know, way with funding, go. if this is your purpose, if you want to speak to community sure. and connect with everybody, this is one of those amazing platforms to be able to do that. So please put your money where your mouth is. We'd love to connect you and thank you guys once again. Absolutely so amazing. Thank you.